Hey guys, welcome back. Right now we are in the Hollywood District in front of the brand new building that the Portland Fashion Institute just opened. This is their fabric store and tonight they are hosting an open house for Design Week Portland. So they're going to give us a look inside. So I'm here with Sharon Blair, the director of the Portland Fashion Institute. You guys just opened this space. It looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. What kinds of things can people do in here? Well, we were outgrowing our existing space pretty fast. Because we've had 6,000 people come through our door since we opened up nine years ago. Because bottom line, PFI exists to be a catalyst to make Portland a market center for the apparel industry. Yes, we plan on world domination. Yes, I love it. <laughs> so of course the students for the Portland Fashion Institute could come here to buy supplies for yeah. their classes or things that they're working on, but then anyone yeah. that lives anywhere near here yeah. could come in yeah. here too. Now I'm here with Trish, a textile artist, and apparently I need an apron for this next part <laughs> because we're gonna get a little bit messy. <laughs> what are you going to teach me how to do? Well, today I'm gonna teach you how to do boutique and a little bit of shibori. All covered up. Ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a circle and you're going to wrap it around and around until it's really tight. So I feel like you... this is what I did to tie dye things when I was a kid at camp. <laughs> is. is this kind of like tie dye? <laughs> it is. So you're going to need gloves for this. Okay, excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we're going to dip one end in one color and another end in another color. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm like nervous now. Yeah. I have to go, make go, a decision. Go, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here. And get the other end. In different color? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> That's so much fabric. Get okay. and put it up. Oh, wow, it's so pink. <laughs> and then give it a bit squeeze of a squeeze. I feel like a mad scientist. <laughs> I'm covered in different colors. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little folding technique. So you wanna fold like this. Triangle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fold. And then you're going to dip each corner in a different color. Oh! <laughs> you can take that corner out. Dip another another one? Color. Yeah, another color. Okay. Corner. And then dip it. Do you want a shot of dipping it? To the blue. Whoa, it's very blue. A little and squeeze. Last corner. What color would look good with that? There's green and there's a gray. Gray, sure. Yeah. Ah, cool. <gasps> Let's open this and see Oh my what gosh. Happens. Whoa. You did that. That's so cool! <laughs> so batik is an old traditional textile technique. Today we're going to do a basic painting technique. Um, we'll start with the basics, yeah. then I'll start creating <laughs> textiles all over the world. Yes, and we're going to paint this onto the fabric. So how are your drawing skills? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're going to draw something really basic like a star or a moon or something oh. like that. So we're, something okay. to paint in, okay? Okay, just going to draw a star. Better be the best <laughs> star. Okay. I mean, that's not that bad. <laughs> okay, so there you go. You're going to paint in your star. Oh, you can yeah. see it kind yeah, of yeah. like putting a layer yeah, on yeah. the fabric. Perfect. Woo! And this is ready to dip into some dye. Cool. Okay? So I want to show you something. You can crinkle it up and it gives this kind of nice technique. Mm. So you can crush your star. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gloves again. <laughs> okay, go on in. Ah, cool. Ready for the other color? Going into the blue. Where? Yeah. You can see it just on the surface of the wax. Yeah. So we're gonna open it up over <gasps> here. There's your star. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. Got green, yeah. blue, stars, a little bit of both. So there is batik. Cool. Now, one more thing I want you to do is use a traditional tool. Dunting pen. Yeah, now we move on to the, the advanced one, the yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. easy one. Yeah. Okay. It's not easy. And you've got to be fast. Uh -oh. So, so this is the pipe here. You're going to scoop it and then you're going to draw with the pen. You're just going to draw with the wax so you can kind of see how it sits. Okay? You've got to be quick because otherwise okay. it will start to go okay. cold inside. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. There you go. Wigglies. Just got to keep it moving. Okay. <laughs> can tell who's the professional. It's definitely not me. <laughs> yeah. But that's cool. So that's the traditional jumping pen. That's what they use in Indonesia. Okay, now we're going to reveal the first <laughs> masterpiece I created. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Wow, those colors are so bright. That's okay. crazy. I love the colors you picked. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm a professional. Do you teach this at the Portland Fashion Institute? I do. I'll be teaching this July. I'm going to be teaching a boutique workshop and uh, some screen printing and some sustainable textiles. And so when you are making things, they're really one of a kind because yeah. you have to make every single item? Yeah, and every aspect and everything's hand-dyed. It's a labor of love, though. I like it. That's amazing. And I'm sure you're trying not to drip 
die on everything. <laughs>